What's up y'all, Walla Moose here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to reduce PDF file size using Adobe Illustrator. But before I begin, my name is Josh, AKA Walla Moose, and I post videos here on YouTube once a week with videos regarding graphic design. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. I'd love to have you along for the ride. So without further ado, let's jump in here and get started. Alrighty, so we're here in Adobe Illustrator, and as you can see here, I've got a seven page PDF. Um, it's pretty high resolution with some high quality images. So I went ahead and exported this just as is, and it came out to, as you can see here, 346.5 megabytes, which is certainly too large for a seven page PDF. Uh, you wouldn't be able to email that, probably send it to your printer, anything like that. So we're gonna shrink in that in this video, hopefully get it to below five megabytes. So let's jump in here and do that. So what you're gonna do, don't do anything with your file. We're just gonna leave it as is and go up here to file, save as copy. You can also do save as, but I like to do save as copy just so I have my Illustrator file separate from my PDF and there's no concern about crossover. So save as copy and it's gonna pull up this, your standard save window, just figure out where you wanna save it and make sure the format is PDF and hit save. All right, so after you do that, it's gonna pull up this um, secondary option window, and this is where we can change the settings on decreasing the file size. So up here at the top, there's Adobe PDF presets. Um, you can actually save your own, so you can reference this in the future and just hit with a click of button and have all these settings ready to go. But for this, what we're gonna do is go down here to smallest file size. And what some people do is hit smallest file size and export, but the images come back a bit blurry, so we're gonna fix that. Now, before I do that, one thing to note is this option is unticked. It's preserve Illustrator editing capabilities. It is smaller because it doesn't have all the editing uh, meta metadata included with it. And so if you want to be able to edit this PDF in an Illustrator in the future, have this checked. But if you want the smallest possible file size, have it unchecked. And again, that's why I like having my Illustrator file separate from my PDF so I can do that. But what we're gonna do to have high quality images at a smaller file size is go to compression over here. And you got your color, your grayscale, and your monochrome images. Um, these are the settings for that. So having the smallest file size automatically bumped it down to 100 pixels per inch at a low quality, 150 and then 300. So in, in order to ensure that it's very high quality, we wanna change these numbers to 300 PPI medium, 300 and medium. And then the last one, the monochrome is fine with 300 and 450. Now, one thing to note, if, if, this or if this file comes back still too big, you can change these to low or minimum and it shouldn't affect the quality. Actually, just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna do low just to show y'all that it's high quality and it's even a smaller smart file size. So after that's all done, hit save. It's gonna give you some warnings. And then this one, it's gonna give you a warning since you unchecked the preserve Illustrator editing capabilities, it's just gonna let you know. So that's okay, I did that on purpose. And then it's gonna export. All right, and let's see how it did. So again, I had my big file size at 346 megabytes. And the small one that I just did with those new settings is, drum roll, why isn't it loading? There we go, I thought my computer was about to crash. Um, 4.5 megabytes. So yeah, we accomplished our goal of wanting it less than five megabytes and we took it from about half a gig all the way down to 4.5 megabytes, which is huge. Now, if that's still too big, again, go back and just change it to minimum as opposed to low or medium and you should be good to go. Now, one thing to note is if it's still not small enough, you may have a problem with your file. Either there's too many vertices, if it's a very like high quality image with a lot of shapes, um, or if you like image trace something and it's like basically a vector version vector version of a photo or if like each of your images is like a couple of megabytes what you can do is just change the images to a lower size within the file and that way when you export it there's less to transfer over to the pdf alrighty so that's it for that video i hope it helped if it uh shrinkened shrunk shrunk reduced what's the word reduced your file size uh, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments as well. Um, if you liked it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, do all the fun stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.